Okay, so this is going to be a basic intro to your uh, centromere positioning. It's kind of like an introduction to genetic mutations, which I'm going to be covering in the next video, or starting to cover in the next video. I want you to have a basic understanding of this so I can really easily describe what genetic mutations and displacements and rearrangements are in the future. So there's four basic types that you're going to need to know. The first one is called metacentric. Metacentric is when you have the centromere, which is the part, which is the point of sister chromatid connection. So it's a linkage between the sister chromatids. So metacentric is basically middle. So meta middle, you're going to have the centromere connected in the middle. And this, these will be basically, not exactly, but basically the same distance. So this is what you call meta metacentric metacentric the second type you're gonna have is called sub metacentric now sub metacentric is very similar to metacentric but the chroma but the centromere sorry centromere will be a little bit displaced off the center so you're gonna have a little bit longer arms on either the top or the bottom this is where the centromere goes a little bit off. A lot of times people get confused between this one and the next one because it's a little bit of displacement off the center, but submetacentric is a little bit of difference between the arms. So this one is submetacentric. Submetacentric. The third type is called acrocentric. Now acro is actually Greek for peak but don't let it fool you because acrocentric is not the complete top it's almost the top. Basically the functional definition for acrocentric is if the p-arm is hard to observe but present so the p-arm, let me try to draw this so, to explain it, the p-arm, let me try that again, the p-arm is hard to observe but present. So here you're going to see the chroma, the centromere, is at the top, but you have these things, the short arm, you have the short arm, and then you have the long arm. So the long arm is called the Q arm. So Q, lowercase normal, but uppercase Q is easier to tell. And then you have the short arm, which we call the P arm. And now this is acrocentric. Let me spell it for you quick. Acro, not in white. Acrocentric. Acrocentric. So this is basically, remember, acro meaning peak is where the centromere is near the top. Now there's one last point, and this is what we call telocentric. Telocentric is where your centromere is literally at the top of the sister chromatins connecting them. So it'll look like this, where we'll have this centromere connecting these at the tip. And you won't have P arms, even though technically they're not called that at that point. You'll just have the Q arms. It's an easy way to understand that. So this is what we call telocentric. The way I remember this one is you have when they're in the chromosome or sister chromat chromatid form, you have telomeres at the end of the chromosome. So telomere and telo and acro peak, it's in the middle. That's when you see your pu your wow, your P and your Q arm, your submetacentric, which is near the middle, but a little bit above it, and you have your metacentric. Now these are the basic centromere positions that you need to understand before we get into the actual mutations which will be next video.